what's up you guys <clears throat> what's up you guys what's up so i know i probably look a little bright right now i am using my vlogging camera i don't know if i'm you know do i look like i'm looking up or what it's sometimes it's so hard to just not look at the screen but just look at the lens april mesmerize hypnotize yourself and just look at the lens so anyway i'm about to do this video uh well uh, not right now but by the time it all comes together it will be right now so anyway, I was contacted by I was contacted by this company called Bazam. Oh, hold up, it's a little bit too bright. Okay, hello package. Okay, it's called uh, so much sunlight. And then when I don't get it, genius wig. So they sent me this wig. I can't even remember what kind of style it was, but I'm pretty sure it's like some water wave type of style. It just says 180% density, 16 inch, 13 by six lace front. They sent me some instructions. Like a girl don't know how to do a wig tutorial. They don't even know who they're talking to. It's their yakky straight hair. So it's yakky straight hair, okay? But this company is asking me to please do a half wet, curly, half dry style. First of all, it's yakky hair it's not even gonna curl like that so I don't think all right so you want me to press it out and then you want me to wet it girl do you know how much work that would be to press this hair out that I'm about to show you and then re-wet it like I'm not about to do all of that it was not about to style something that's yakky which looks more like kinky okay and then wet it oh I didn't even notice these they sent me a uh, pack of t-pins thank you very much a girl could always use those a comb okay i'm probably gonna need that for this wig an elastic band this don't even look like it's long enough to go around my big head and a stocking cap thanks so y'all ready to see this wig you guys hopefully it's enough light because now it looks like it's getting dull out but let's just give it a try i have yet to put up my christmas decorations it's december 5th i just really don't I'm not really in the mood to celebrate, but before we even get into that, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. I did do my outside of my house, but I'm really not into the, the celebrating holiday mood. But I just wanted to show you guys this real quick um, because it is in memory of my son. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So I had this picture blown up of him. It's um, 36 inches. It's up. This is where my steps are. So I had that picture blown up of him so I could just look at him every day. And I know you guys are probably like, how does it make me feel? Well, sometimes it hurts and sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, I miss him so much. And then I also blew up this one here, which is also the same size. And it probably doesn't look like it's angled right or it's centered right. But trust me. Oh, I almost fell. It is actually centered right. It's right there, you know. And this is a picture of him on his bike because he used to like to do bike tricks and stuff. So... That's him there on his bike. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick before I show you this wig because I'm not really sure how they're expecting me to listen, we about to see. Ta -da! So sorry about the shadows and stuff, you know. I'm in my dining room. I'm about to go in the kitchen and hook up this hair. This is called Yaki Straight. Now, from the looks of things, it looks like it's more or less kinky straight not yakky two different hair textures this is kinky which is kind of by far very full and to me it just the hair texture looks somewhat like blow-dried hair that wasn't like combed through you know how you just take the blow dryer and just blow dry it without doing anything this is how it came to me i didn't do anything to it i'm not really sure how this is supposed to curl up but we will see because it's supposed to be a yakky straight and i am about to bleach it so that's why i wanted to show it to you guys first um the lace though is really nice that that i will give them the lace is really really nice transparent and very thin and soft and the hairline well the hairline has its dips and curves in it. You know, I'm not sure if this is what they call a pre-plucked hairline because it's thinner. But honey child, this is not, not thin to me. Like it's not really bulky and thick, but it definitely is going to need some work to it. Some bleaching. You guys can see those knots. They are very speckled. It's like pepper, baby. But I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So let me tell y'all, y'all remember what it looked like, okay? It looked like Neanderthal hair. Caveman. That way it came to me looking like a caveman. It looked like one of those old progressive commercials with the caveman. What's your name? He doesn't say anything because he's a doll. It just looked really wonky. The hairline is wonky. You guys know I had to bleach the crap out of it. I sat that bleach on the hair for 
over an hour and it lifted the knots but maybe i should have used 40 developer versus 30 and i have 50 so mind you i left it on for over an hour there are still little speckles and i covered that thing like covered it but anyway they requested me to do on camera was style it like flat iron it straighten it Okay, that's cool. But then you want me to sit on camera with a spray bottle of water and spray it down. The way that this hair is so thick, you can't just spray it down and expect it to curl up. You have to really drench this wig in order for it to soak in the hair. Girl, when a bitch seen that the hair got like these beautiful ass curls in it, when I washed it after I rinsed out the purple shampoo and then condition it oh my god i was like there's no way that i even want to flat iron this or straighten it these curls in this hair are like something i have never seen before like they're amazing like like no joke like okay so i'm not too happy about the hairline and i'm definitely not happy about some of the bleach knots but the curl pattern girl and because it's not silky hair it's even prettier. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. And I really, really don't wanna flat iron this hair, but I'm going to, and I really would like to see what it looks like once it's pressed. The hair texture came out so beautiful. For it to be a cheap wig and for it to look wonky like that, like seriously, if I would've got that in the mail as a customer, like if I purchased it, I would've been livid. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would've been really, really upset. So I really do think that they need to represent it a lot better because on the website, it did not look like that. You guys are probably not even gonna think this is the same freaking wig, but you can tell by the freaking hair hairline and stuff but la vida loca is looking pretty decent she's looking cute this hair texture is very pretty like la vida has got it going on this is the curl pattern i wish you guys could really feel this hair because it does not feel silky and it does not feel kinky like they're advertising i want to say well they called it yakky like look this is just from letting it air dry do you see like the ripple effect these curls like these curls are beautiful these curls are beautiful in this hair for this to be a cheap wig and a caveman looking wig like the curl pattern is absolutely the curl pattern is absolutely gorgeous i love curls that are big and succulent like this the curls are like this but the hair texture is not so silky i rather have a little bit more texture to my curl pattern and this definitely will give it to you so we're gonna have to test it out and see does it actually curl back after you put heat to it I, i'm shocked i'm like super duper shocked about how la vida loca is looking vida loca is looking she came out Hey, la vida. La vida loca. She came out really pretty. This is how she looks. Like, she's very pretty and full. So, let's get ready for the installation part. If I had to fly iron this, and I'm definitely going to do that off camera. I'm ready to do this video. I've had the wig for a few weeks. It took me a task. Like this wig was definitely a task. And the request that I got from the actual company, like, yeah, that's definitely not gonna work out on camera, but I'll see what I can do. Genesis wig. The picture that they showed me did not look like the wig at all in person. And had I been a consumer, I would have probably been peed off. Like seriously, there would have been all kind of front door shut in, all kind of shade and tea being thrown. The look of the wig itself in general was like, girl, you do not want to mess with me. That's what the wig was basically saying to me. But being that I do know somewhat about hair, you're going to get worked on, honey. Here's the thing about curly hair. If you decide to use a spray bottle, on this hair to wet it up, the curls are not gonna come out anything like in the picture, the videos clip that I just showed you. Never happens. It doesn't matter what type of curly hair it is. It doesn't matter if you never pressed it and you just like it curly and the next day you wore it and you just needed some more curl to define it and you put some water or conditioner on it, the curls are not gonna be the same. Here's the rules of curls. If you wash the lace wig, the curls come out so much better. But if you sit there and you spray it and then brush it, the curls come out kind of skimpy looking. I don't advise that. So I'm not about to sit here and soak this wig soaking down on my head. What I will do though is I'll wash it tonight and then I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like on me 
as a curly wig. But for today's portion of this video, we're just gonna put it on. I'm gonna show you how it looks. So ladies, I'm gonna speed through this part because you've seen me apply a wig a million of times. I did go ahead and tweeze a widow's peak in it because I wanted to try it out again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my brow trimmers to cut off the lace. The lace is really soft, which I'm really appreciative of. Plus it's almost transparent so you can barely see it. The wig did take me a lot of work, you know, it took me over an hour. I had to wash it, then I had to hot comb it, flat iron it, and curl it. And for the curls to have not stayed, I'm not really too keen on that. So this is the reason why I'm just kind of like speeding through. Plus, I really didn't want to make the video so long. So I'm going to go ahead right here and just part above my ear because the wig was a tad bit too long for my head size. Basically, it was overlapping my ear and you really don't want that. You want it to sit as flat as possible and it will also help if it will also help you if the wig doesn't fit properly in comfortability, meaning you don't really want it tucked behind your ear because it does get irritating after a while. So you want to make sure to cut off any excess lace that overflaps your ear. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my got to be Glam Force hairspray and just spray as normal on the inside and the out. You can do either way. Sometimes I switch it up. And I'm just going to blow dry it on a cool to medium temperature using my rat tail comb to press into the lace. My advice for using rat tail combs is to always try to use a metal tail one only because the plastic ones will catch more plastic or more, you know, hairspray onto it. And then you want to repeat that same method on the opposite side so that way you know your wig is on i just didn't want to show all of that because it's just the same repetitive stuff and you guys have seen it for so long and now that i've went ahead and cut the baby hairs into the unit i'm going to use my styling mousse from the dollar tree just to push back some of the hairs as you guys see the curls did fall i pinned it and then i put it right into a plastic bag so that way the curls would stay but with the hair texture, it just didn't help. I did also use hairspray just to hold the curls, but they really didn't stay like I would have wanted them to, especially with the time that I spent. So as you guys see, that's the curl pattern after curling. So I'm just gonna, you know, use my hot comb and kind of press it down just so that way I can get somewhat of a style. Okay. Let me tell y'all, for one, it took me like over an hour to get it straight because I had to spray silk spray, silk press on it, and hot comb it, and flat iron it, and then curl it. I'm not about to sit here and do that all over again. Listen, it's not about to happen today, y'all. For it to be kinky, it presses really nicely. The lace is nice, like, transparent-wise. Y'all seen I put me a little widow's peak. I mean, like, it's cute, but I think this wig is much better when it is actually curly and i like the color of the lace it's very it's soft lace and it's very transparent the hairline is nice like i pre-plucked it and stuff i would just definitely wear this curly and i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like curled i mean and i could sit here and, and saturate this thing down if i really wanted to all day long but i'm not about to sit here and saturate this wig i really want to see what it looks like at the side part too that's about it. I'm going to come back with it wet to show you guys what it'll look like. If you straighten this hair, you can't just expect it to curl up just like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to really wash it. So that's what I'm going to do. So. You guys, so I'm back with the second part of this video. I went ahead and washed the unit. It is the exact same unit. You will see that once I put it on. I think like to me personally, the unit is much better curly. Shout out to JP Craft and Company for sending me out some new t-shirts so a girl got some clothes to wear in her videos. This one right here is the original Playa from the Himalayas. Check them out on JP and Craft and Company. They have a bunch of different types of tees and I will leave a coupon code for all of my subscribers down below so that way you can save some of your coins. I love the colors. I like the graphic. I just like the way it was designed. Love printed graphic tees. That's basically my go-to type of wear, especially for my videos. I like to be comfortable. Playa from the Himalaya. I really miss the Martin show. Like, those are good old days when they had, like, really good shows on. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you check out JP and Craft and Company. So we're just going to get into this real quick. All right, guys. So this is the second install of the unit. This is going to be dumb best, okay, to reinstall this unit. The Norm, the hairspray, the rat tail cone, 
and you know my favorite one of my favorite hairsprays which is the got to be glam force i'm going to spray it on the inner and outside and then i'm going to take my blow dryer which honestly you know is one of my favorite blow dryers but honey child listen we all have our favorites and then sometimes we don't those favorites that we use quite often end up being used so much that we don't realize the necessity of them and the value so with that being said you'll definitely see a little blooper towards the next couple of minutes so i'm just going to take that inexpensive cheap mousse from the dollar tree which is actually worth more than a dollar to me and just sculpt the baby hairs into the unit <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> in the middle of blow drying, my blow dryer started smoking. This was like my favorite blow dryer. So now that my blow dryer has smoked on me on camera and caught a flame, I'm just going to continue to just style my hair with some of my water, which contains the Carol's Daughter Leave-In Hair Conditioner Milk. <laughs> You guys, these curls are juicy, way better than it's straight. That's my opinion. You know, everybody's entitled to it. Did my blow dryer really just die on me in the middle of a video? I've had it for so long. This thing has had its use for seven or eight years. But you know, we're gonna just try this one out. The hair is pretty like I said, you could cock comb it, you could curl it. The number one key important thing to getting the curls to revert back is washing it because the curl pattern is not gonna look the same as you spraying water versus you actually washing it. You wash it, as you guys see, the curl pattern is actually really, really big and juicy. The curls are actually gorgeous. I'll post all the information down below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, one part, two part. I love you guys. Stay diva and diva wishes. And I got to go, got to do another video. Uh, uh,